Whoa, 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 whoa. Stop scrolling, stop scrolling. If you're a business owner that takes credit cards, pay attention. So I've been selling credit card processing for about five years and I've looked at over a thousand different merchant statements and I can tell you that it's an amazing industry, but there's a lot of weird regulations and things that most business owners aren't aware of. So I wanted to make a quick video to explain secrets and what your credit card processor won't tell you. So I'm gonna start it out by explaining really simply who gets paid or who charges a fee when you process a credit card at your business. Let's say you own a restaurant, right? And I come in, take my wife to dinner, and I use my Bank of America Visa card. When I use that card, Bank of America gets a cut of the transaction, so does Visa, and so does the processor, the company that moves the money back and forth. There's over 400-ish different categories of interchange, and there's major card brands like Visa, MasterCard, Discover, American Express. Doesn't matter who your processor is, you're gonna get billed for these fees and these fees. The rest of the money that comes out of your bank account is kept by the processor. The problem, there's a lot of deception and there's a lot of weird fees and stuff that you might find on your statement. So um, actually, if you have your statement, pull it out. If you don't have it, call your processor, pause the video, call them and uh, take a look at it. I'm gonna show you some words that you don't wanna see on your statement. And if you do, it could be because you're being deceived or you're being, you were set up incorrectly by your processor. First word, surcharge. <clears throat> Second word, e acronym, EIRF, right? Stands for Electronic Interchange Reimbursement Fee. PCI compliance fees, even better, PCI non-compliance fees, and these words, qualified, mid-qualified, and non-qualified. If you see any of these words on your statement, chances are, but it's not guaranteed, chances are you're not being told the truth and uh, there's a lot more to the story than you might think. Bonus tip, right? So um, this is actually from a credit card statement. For a lot of business owners here, if you look at your statement, this might look familiar. Um, this is from a guy that just switched over to Heartland, actually owned a restaurant, his name's Mike. Uh, I'll break it down for you. So the number of transactions that were ran, the dollar amounts that were processed, broken down by the different categories. Remember I said there was about 400 different interchange categories that exist. But here's the thing that I pointed out. This is what he paid, right, in fees, the interchange fees and the card brand fees. There's no detail. There is no detail in this section at all. It doesn't show the percentages that were taken in the transaction. It's just a number. Numbers that were arbitrarily placed here by the processor. And actually what I did was I did a detailed analysis and find out that, he's, that I was, he was being overcharged by about $70 a month. And there were other junk fees on the previous page. So my point is this. Um, sometimes it's because of lack of knowledge from, of, from the processor about your business or they're just trying to deceive you, like in this case, right? So um, as a business owner, you deserve to be told the truth, right? Um, credit cards are expensive. Accepting credit cards 2 to 3% of your revenue, um, it can be a very expensive thing. I'm not here to tell you I can save you a bunch of money, but I will tell you the truth. If you saw any of these things on your statement, a statement with lack of detail or the word surcharge, tiered pricing, PCI compliance, call me, text me, or email me. This is my cell phone number right here and my email, right? If you want to schedule a call, that's fine, or if you're in Northeast Ohio, I'd be happy to meet with you. Um, I'd make it a point to point out uh, what you're paying and why and explain how it all works. Heartland's got a lot of different solutions that we can bring to the table to put your business in a position to win, keep growing, and being told the truth the entire time. Thanks, everybody.